So which camera should you buy? The DJI Action 4 camera or the GoPro Hero 12? Let's talk about it. Now the truth is both of these cameras are really great. And right now the sun is setting behind me and I kind of just want you guys to see side by side the DJI versus the GoPro because these cameras are very, very similar, but they're also different in a few key ways. And so depending on what you want this action camera for is gonna depend on which one you end up buying. Now right now, this is a low light scenario. There's not a lot of light outside and this is where the DJI is going to shine just a little bit more. And I think mainly because it has a slightly bigger sensor and that's gonna allow more light into this camera, giving it a little bit of an edge over the GoPro. Now a big part of your buying decision might just be what it looks like. And so looking at these two, you can see that they both look good, but me personally, I tend to like the colors most of the time on the GoPro just a little bit more over the DJI. And so if I was just going based off image quality and how it looked, I might go with the GoPro, but there's a lot of features on the DJI that make me question this and wonder if I should use the DJI over the GoPro. Both these cameras do come in at the same price of $399, though this shopping season, there might be some deals on both of these cameras, so you need to keep that into consideration. However, one of my favorite features with the DJI is that you can plug a microphone directly into the USB-C port on the camera. So right now, what you're listening to is the DJI wireless mic right here in my hand, plugged directly into the Action 4 camera and it sounds really good. Now you can do this on the GoPro. The difference though is on the GoPro, you actually need the media mod, which is around $80. And so that is going to add to the overall price if you do want good audio on these cameras. So this is an audio test. Let me know what you guys think sounds better. We have the DJI Action 4 and we have the GoPro. And from everything that I've heard between these two cameras, I've just noticed that the Action 4 seems a bit more clear and the GoPro does sound a little bit more muffled. Say hi. Okay, he, he just wants to eat it. <laughs> now, when you guys are deciding what camera you want to buy, a big part of that, at least for me, is what does the image quality look like? And that's why I wanted to put these side by side so you guys could actually see a good comparison of both these cameras. Now, overall, as far as the image quality goes, I think they both look really, really good and they're pretty comparable. There are some key differences, so let's go through those. <laughs> Do some slow mo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. That was fun, huh? First of all, when it comes to the actual colors, you're gonna notice that the GoPro just tends to be a little bit warmer than the DJI. Now the DJI actually technically has better white balance and it's a little more accurate and I guess true to real life. And that's because on the camera, there are these sensors that are going to detect the color temperature of the light. And so it is more accurate, but regardless, I still personally like the colors, the skin tones, and even the greens a bit better on the GoPro versus the DJI. Also, when I first turned these cameras on and I started to compare them, I noticed that the DJI was a little bit sharper. So right now I turned down the sharpness, which made a nice fix on the DJI. And I like the GoPro sharpness just straight from the camera, even though sometimes I feel like it can still look a little bit sharp. I've turned it down on the DJI minus two to do this comparison that you're looking at right now. And this is probably how I would use these cameras. The GoPro is shooting at 5.3K and the DJI action camera is shooting at 4K because it can't shoot up to 5K. But I've also noticed that there isn't a huge upgrade in quality when you go from 5.3K over the DJI's 4K. Honestly, they kind of just look a bit of the same, even though there might be a small extra detail on the GoPro, they're very similar. 
Now, both of these cameras can shoot in a log picture profile that can be graded. And I think when they're in log, they're very comparable and you can really bend the colors a little bit more. So if you are someone who wants to shoot in that 10 bit log format, there's a ton of flexibility there. And as far as colors go, you're really able to manipulate it to whatever you want it to look like. However, sometimes when shooting in log and applying a Rec 709 LUT, I noticed that the images do just tend to feel a little bit darker than usual. If I were using this just for everyday use, I probably wouldn't shoot in those log formats and I would just shoot in the HDR version on the GoPro and then on the standard color profile on the DJI. Both these cameras have amazing stabilization and so you can turn those on and really it almost kind of looks like a gimbal when you're walking with this camera. And I think they both look really good. It's hard for me to decide if one looks better over the other. So I'm gonna call it a tie. I think they're both fantastic. Now, both of these cameras can go really, really wide. This is on the widest setting on both of these cameras, but I've noticed that the DJI just tends to have a more natural looking image where I feel like the GoPro does look a little bit squished. Now here we see linear on the GoPro versus the standard and the de-warp option on the DJI, and it's still a little bit wider, but they both look very natural to me. And so if you wanted to shoot some sort of YouTube videos or vlog situation, or just have a type of lens that looks the most realistic, I would go with one of these two modes. From my experience, the battery life on these are pretty identical, and it seems like from a lot of the tests that I've looked at, they're almost the same. However, there is a big pro with DJI, which is that you can actually get this portable charging case, which is pretty cool, and this will fast charge your batteries in here, and it can hold up to three different batteries, and it even holds some SD cards inside of this case, and this is super handy to put into your pocket and to travel with this, whereas when I was filming these videos, I actually brought a little portable battery and then this GoPro charger. Then I needed a cable to plug it all into each other. This just is not as convenient as bringing this along. It's so much smaller, so much easier. And so this was super nice to have. On the Action 4 camera, there is this magnetic release and this really was a game changer for me. And one of my favorite features about this camera, this really makes it so easy to snap your camera off and to move it onto a different device. Now to talk about build quality for a minute, we need to talk about how I, I actually broke my action four. Now, to be fair, this probably was completely my fault. I was actually taking this door off. And when I was trying to put it back on, I couldn't quite get it on. I think I was putting it on the wrong way and it snapped this tiny little plastic piece on the door. And now it won't fully snap back in. And so this just kind of hangs wide open. So that's not very good. Again, Definitely my mistake for trying to put this on the wrong way. Oops. So what camera is best for you? Well, it's going to depend on what you really value. For me, I think the Action 4 camera is just a little bit of an easier camera to use. If you wanna plug in a microphone, you don't need any extra media mods. And I also really like that magnetic quick release plate that makes it really easy to move the camera from one thing to another. If I strictly just wanted to get the best image possible with the best colors without any color grading, then I probably would go with the GoPro. So do you value ease of use more or do you just want the best image possible? I don't know, and that's gonna be for you to decide. Ultimately, both of these cameras are fantastic and I don't think you're gonna go wrong either way. If you're looking for some awesome GoPro accessories, a lot of these are actually gonna work on the DJI Action 4 as well. Then click on the screen and check out that video and we'll see you guys in the next one.